the other half of CXR in action. We saw TJ Epics a couple matches ago taking on Gregory Iron. We saw Jeremiah Richter out here earlier with an unsuccessful match for Edge of Hope as Darren Crow fell to Vinny Moon. And so each member here looking to uh, get their team in the win column here tonight. As Connors off the ropes with speed. Another forearm here to Richter. Booked earlier, Rob, and now a lot more implications, like you said, both teams on the losing end. Which team needs it more? I, I would guess the venture here, as you hope after losing the Vinny Moon, definitely needs that victory. And, and not for nothing, oh, there they go, they move. Not for nothing, but you gotta wonder how that's gonna feed into this match. You think Edge of Hope's gonna get involved? They didn't do it earlier, but this match, they're all out there, minus Darren Crow. They are at ringside, not in the entrance way like earlier tonight, so. Certainly have to keep an eye on Maddock and Saren Rain as there's a nice kick there from Chell Connors. Back into the ring. Wait a minute, off the ropes. And a drop kick through the ropes there. Uh, so this is, this is uh, being young and dumb right here. Stay in the ring, stay away from them. And now got caught there by Richter on the outside. And a choke slam onto the ring apron. Not a good idea there. Inexperience there from uh, Cheryl Connors. I understand why the flight wanted to take it to Rick, but do not go to the outside where he is. Because where he was, there was some bad news there. They could have easily gotten him off the same way. Rick, ferocious attack here in the corner by Richter. And then kind of flips Connors down to the mat as he crumbles into the corner. Look where Richter put him, right in the corner of Maddox and Saren Rainer. Oh, they are chirping away from the outside. Say what you want, these are three smart individuals right here. Oh, wait a minute, what do we got going on here? As there's the interference from Edge of Hope at ringside. It was bound to happen at some point. They want to make up for that loss of Darren Curry earlier. What are we do with it? To take it on the honors. Richter using his big boots on the offensive attack. And a powerful body slam there. Count of two, was it? Well, almost two. The females love Jill Connors. Wheeling and delight a few minutes ago. Niagara Falls females love Shale Connors. Connors kind of choked in the corner there with that boot. See how big that boot was? It's a big one. That's massive right there. They can golf like his whole neck through there, even part of his face. And now the magic game. I know you haven't been in too many mosh pits, in anything, but can you imagine being in a show? And turning to the side and seeing Jeremiah Richter standing there, like enjoying the music, moshing, and just, I can't imagine being more intimidated. Absolutely. I've been in a couple mosh pits in my life, not as many as you and him. But uh, I would definitely not want to face a man like that in a mosh pit. I would leave. I would, I would turn around to him and I would just say, Skidam. I, I, I'd be like, Skidam Gonzalez out there. And you saw him fight in a parachute. Connors comes in there. He's able to connect, but he's that's one of the right there for you. I'd cry if I saw Jeremiah Richter there. Look at that power. Look at that power. Oh, and, and the elevation. I mean, Connors almost kicked the ceiling fan. As now here's the cover. This could be it. No, count of two. Tenacity, that is what is one shell counting now. Tenacity and the will to win. And, you know, I talked about uh, how they are singles matches for both these men and their respective partners earlier on. 
you gotta wonder, even though these are single matches, could these also have implications on the tag division? Could a Shane Connor win mean that him into the epic maybe move up in the tag division too, possibly? So lots of uh lots of interesting outcomes from these matches here. We gotta see what's gonna play in the upcoming months. Off the ropes, got pushed away by Richter. Yeah. Modified lung blower there. And you gotta wonder, you saw, you saw Chell Connors trying to get the crowd going, but he went to the corner. Could he thought maybe, you know, to be able to dig in on my tag rest and my partner's gonna be there to help me? Not tonight, sir. Connors up and over. On display, that's a good there. Fantastic speed. There was a beautiful counter for that choke bomb, flipping out of it. And Richter staggering a little here, getting kicked in the back of the leg. Athleticism on display. Into that cutter. Count of two here for Chow Connors. Wow, I thought that may have been it. Normally you see uh, Connors hit that cutter from uh, a standing position, but this Richter's just way too tall for him to go up for it. So nice way to cut him down and then hit it. Very creative uh, offense there. Connors going to the top row. He does not fear that at all. Up top here, now we've got. Maddock distracting the official. Hold on, there's Darren wait, Crow wait, coming wait, to ringside. Wait, what? I'm not sure what he had in his hand there, but he just knocked Chell Connors in the head with it. Brass knuckles or something, and wait a minute, choke bomb coming up. Oh boy, and that's gonna do it here. Cover two and three. Here is your winner, the dominant force. Jeremiah Richter!